This is how to go live on TikTok. Open the app, go down to live, press go live. We're live on TikTok. Hey, TikTok. But seriously, it's pretty simple to start a TikTok live once you know how, and just as easy to get your live streams looking pro with a few simple tips that we're gonna cover off in this video. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. If you're seeing value in this video, make sure you're giving it a thumbs up. It really makes a huge difference. And all the links to everything I mentioned, you can find in the description box below. Let's jump into it. Now I've played around with TikTok, but I definitely tend to use YouTube a lot more. So I'm roping in our resident Primal Video team TikTok expert for this one to show us how to go live on TikTok. And then afterwards, I'm gonna share with you my top three tips to help you create professional TikTok live streams. Cue some sort of amazing transition. Hi, I'm Jordana Grace, and we're going to cover how to go live on TikTok with simple tips and tricks to maximize your live views and boost the quality of your TikTok live. Now, there's only a few requirements to go live on TikTok. You need to be over 16 years old and have a thousand followers, but it doesn't matter how old you are to watch a live, that's fine. And TikTok is also available on iOS and Android, but I'm gonna show you how to go live on iOS. Let's go. So all we need to do is click on our TikTok app, and at the bottom of the screen, you've got the plus button. So you hit that and you've got a few options, okay? So we're gonna scroll across to the live feature. You haven't gone live yet, don't worry. And now you've got your screen before you go live. So take your time to make sure you've got everything set up so you're not panicked when you do go live. So you have the options to click and change your icon. You can either take a photo or select from library. I always like to have quite catching photos so people recognize that it's me. And you can also add a title. It's always best to make these snappy because you only have 32 characters. So you wanna make it something where it's like, guess what's happening or what happened today? I'm cooking this. So people are more engaged to go into your live. So I'm just gonna put good morning. Okay, and so here you also have the option to choose what topic you're gonna talk about. Is it fitness and sports, gaming, DIY, pop culture? But I'm just gonna keep mine on chat. And you also have the option to support a nonprofit. You don't get the choice to add your own, but there's a great variety of nonprofits in here. Again, which will depend on what country that you're in. But then during your live, people have the option to donate and support that nonprofit. So it's actually quite a nice feature. On the side of your screen, you have different options. So you can flip your screen and hey, there I am. Or you can enhance your how you look, change your eyes, your face. I like to keep it quite natural on how I look, so I'm going to leave that. You can also have effects, like you can look, <laughs> you can look like this. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, ah. <laughs> but you can have different options and choose green screens for your lives, which can make it really interesting. I'm not gonna have that on. And then also you have the settings button. This is a really good one to check before you go live because if you want to just have little things like the option on to receive live gifts or to make sure comments can be seen, you can also have a keyword filter. So if you wanna just block out some keywords, you can do that here. And also you can add in moderators, people to help you moderate your chat because going live and answering all the questions can be a bit overwhelming. So it's always nice to add a moderator. You can see I have Justin there, just in case. <laughs> Okay, and then when you're ready to go live, all you need to do is press the big go live button. So let's do it. We're going live in three, two, one. And now we're live. Okay, it's as easy as that. So here, let's talk about the live screen. So in the top corner, it always shows you if you've got a good connection or bad connection. Keep an eye on this, because sometimes you can dip in and out if the internet's not great. At the bottom, you've got a little note from TikTok saying, welcome to your live, and make sure you adhere to community guidelines. You can click on that if you want to know more. And at the bottom, we have this little icon where you can either add a host or add guests. So if you click that, at the moment, I don't have any guest requests, but if people do want to come into your live, that's where they'll turn up. Then at the top of my screen, hi everyone, you can see all the people that have joined your live. So obviously the number could be like five, 30, a thousand, it'll show in the top hand screen screen. And Justin's just joined, hi, and it also shows that Justin is not only my moderator, but he's my friend. That's so nice. And then at the bottom, you can also press the three dots. So you have the same options as you did in your previous screen. But again, it's always good to set this up before you go live. You can flip the camera, mirror your video, you can filter comments, add topics, gifts, 
and there's also the admin settings again we can do the same things add moderators and things like that so if I go on there I can add or remove a moderator another thing to know is that if you're over the 18 years old you can actually receive gifts live they look like flowers or coins or little presents and that actually can transfer into cash so it's always quite a nice little feature of TikTok so at the bottom you can get people to not only comment but there's also a Q&A section so people can comment but they can also ask you specific questions so this is my favorite part about going live it's interacting with your followers because to me that's what TikTok's about it's about meeting new people and lives are a great way where you can just get to know people ask questions and because my topic is a chat that's all this is it's a chat with my followers so make sure you're engaging and looking at the comments so Justin is sad because he does not have the Q&A feature so if anyone does have the Q&A option please send a Q&A but you can actually scroll through so you can see if you've missed any comments, don't worry, you can always scroll through. And don't feel worried that you have to answer every single one. Just take your time. So I'm gonna end the live now so we can check out the next page. Anyway, thanks so much everyone for joining and have a great day. So all you need to do to end your live is to press the button at the bottom of the screen. So it'll come up with this message, end this live now, so many viewers are currently watching. So you can cancel and keep your live going or you can press end now we're going to go end now. Okay, so now here's where it gets really interesting. You've got your live summary. So you have your recording available called Live Replay for up to 90 days, and you can actually download that which is a fun feature that maybe you put your live up on another social platform, who knows. On this screen, it will show you how many viewers you have, how many diamonds or gifts you were donated. There's also statistics like you have 16% more viewers than the average host. Normally I have more than that, but it's not the best time of day for me. And it shows who your top viewers were. And you can even comment back to TikTok how your live broadcast was. Then you can follow on to the next page and you get more details on your live, like the average view time. If you had, for example, I had 56% of people that were followers on my live and 44% new viewers. So it's a great way to also get more followers. And that is everything you need to see on your live summary. Of course, the other part of this is how do people find your lives? Okay, so currently at the moment, I found there are three different ways. So I'm on my profile at the moment and I want to see what you see. I want to try and find some people that I follow who are live at the moment. Okay, so if I go to my home tab, at the top, I've gone to following and here's all the people that I follow and currently going live. There's quite a few at the moment. And you can also press the live tab and then you can just scroll through all the people that you're following and that they're going live. So that's an easy way to do it. Another way is if you go to your inbox at the bottom of the screen, it will show all the people that you're following who are live right now. So Merrick is awesome. I'm just gonna see what he's doing on his live. And there he is, he's live. He's got 1.2K people on his live right now. And you can see at the top, his topic is chat. So I know what it's about. And as you can see, people are like they're doing little smiley faces, little gifts, and the comments are just scrolling through. And finally, another way that you can find someone that's gone live. So for example, if I click onto Merrick's profile right here, okay, so if I just go to one of his videos, and you can see, here's one of his videos, and his icon is pulsating. There's a little word that says live, that means he's gone live. So if I'm scrolling through TikTok and I see that he's live, I just click that, and now I'm on his live. So that's all the places where people can find your lives. That's how easy it is to go live on TikTok. And now how to maximize your live. Back to Justin in the studio. I am in the studio. I have to move out of place for him to come here. So. Nope. Still don't have 1,000 followers on TikTok. Oh, we're back. Earlier in the video, I said I would share with you my top three tips to help you create professional looking live streams. Tip number one is to plan before you go live, to have a bit of an overview, a few bullet points jotted down so that you can keep on track. This is going to make it much easier for you to present your content, but it's also gonna make it much easier for your audience to follow along and to stick with you on your live stream as well. The other area you can plan is the actual time that you're going to go live to make sure that the bulk of your audience is actually online during those times. So you're gonna get more people onto your live streams. So you can figure this out by looking at your analytics and it will tell you when the bulk of your key audience is online. Then you plan to go live at those times for greatest success. Tip number two is to level up your gear. Now you can get great results just using your phone, but by purchasing some simple cheap gear, things like a microphone, a light, and a tripod, you can definitely level up your stream. So audio or microphone wise, there's an amazing microphones out there for $20, like the Boya BYM1 microphone. That's one that we've used for a lot of our YouTube videos. It's crazy awesome. Or if you're after something with a bit more freedom, a bit more flexibility, then you can look at a mini shotgun microphone 
one like the Rode Video Micro. The next one, lighting, you could just use whatever you've got access to already. So you could sit in front of a window to get that nice natural light through, lighting you up. Or you could use whatever lights you've already got around the house, things like a bedside table light or a desktop lamp. You could use those to light you up. Now in terms of actually purchasing a portable light, my favorite all-rounder right now is still the Yongnyo YN300 Air Light, and it's one that we still use in our studio here as well. Now for a tripod or for stabilizing your phone, you could just stack your phone up on a pile of books. You could put it up on a bookshelf to get it to the right height, get it out of your hands wherever possible so that it's not gonna be shaky for your viewers. There's also great portable tripods for around $20, things like the Archon tripod, which does come with a phone mount as well. For a standing full height traditional style tripod, I like the slick brand of tripods. Or if you're after a vlogging style tripod, I'm a big fan of the SwitchPod. Tip number three is another one that most people overlook, and that is running a speed test to check that your internet speed is good. If you're gonna go live, it's gonna use your upload speed on your internet connection. If that's not good, then you can have a bad live stream. It could be low quality, or it could be dropping out throughout the stream. So you can easily check your internet speed by downloading the speed test app and running a speed test. Again, what we're looking at here is the upload speed. You wanna make sure that at an absolute minimum, you've got a greater than two megabit per second connection available. You also wanna make sure it's not fluctuating or jumping around all over the place, because again, that's gonna to lead to a bad stream. Now, if you're running a test and you don't have two megabit per second upload that's stable, then I would suggest trying to find a different connection, different Wi-Fi or hotspotting from a different device if possible. If not, you can still go live. Just know that you might have some issues or dropouts while you're live. So those are my top three tips to help you create professional live streams. And that's how easy it is to go live on TikTok. Now, linked on screen is another video. I have no idea what it is. I hope it's good. I hope it's one of ours. And I'll see you in the next one.